At a time when the vaccine drive is faltering, the center has come out with its latest defense, putting out facts and figures to claim that all is in fact well and the situation is not as dire as it appears. We'll be decoding these claims with a fact check in just moments from now and then after that, we'll have a panel of top ministers from key COVID hit states weighing in. But first, let's just go through the main claims made by the center in its latest presentation. Claim number one, they claim of all the vaccines in the world, 13.13% is administered in India. This is indeed true, but the reality is this. India has 16 to 18% of the world population, but only 13% of the total number of vaccinations in the world. China and USA have administered more vaccine doses than India. China, 35 crore doses. USA, 26.5 crore doses to India's 18 crore doses. Also, less than 10% of India's population has received at least one vaccine dose. And less than 3% of India's population is fully vaccinated according to data from our world and data as well as media reports. The other claim that was made by the center is that India is the first country to reach a whopping 17 crore vaccine doses. And this is indeed true. India did reach 17 crore vaccine doses in 114 days. The USA though reached 17 crore vaccine doses in just about the same number of days, 115 days, just one day more. The only difference is 46% of USA's population has got at least one dose only 10% of India's population has gotten at least one dose. The third claim, the government claims that sufficient number of vaccine doses are in the pipeline and there's nothing to worry about. The government says that they've given advance orders by the center, states and private hospitals to the tune of 34 crore doses. That sounds like a lot, but the reality is the center is getting a lion's share of the vaccine which is why states and private hospitals are facing a major vaccine shortfall. They're facing an estimated 33% shortfall. Why is that? Because the vaccine production capacity of Covaxin and Covishield is an estimated 32 lakh doses a day. The center is ordering 20 lakh doses a day. States and private hospitals need, according to the center's own estimates, 18 lakh doses a day. So the balance available to states and private hospitals is only 12 lakh doses a day, which is why you have states and private hospitals not able to actually give the vaccine. And that's why across the country you're seeing that these vaccine drives have actually been suspended and states and private hospitals have actually had to stop vaccination, especially for the 18 to 45. Let's come to the next claim. The vaccine availability, the center says, will jump fourfold by August, December. That's a big jump. Vaccine availability in August to December, they say, will be 216 crores. The current vaccine production is 32 lakh doses a day, as we just told you. That is going to jump, according to the center, to 1.4 crore doses a year, a day, I beg your pardon. But the reality is, for this to happen, Covishield, which is Adar Poonawala's SII, will have to double its production, more than double, actually, in the coming five months. Covaxin will have to increase production by almost four times in the coming five months. Is this massive scaling up realistic? Vaccine makers are barely able to meet current targets. And finally, the last claim. The center says that they had set aside a whopping 35,000 crores, a whopping 35,000 crores to purchase vaccines for the whole country. 35,000 crores was actually budgeted as a grant to states that the center would be buying this much vaccines and then supplying it to the states. But then came the change in policy. So at the moment, the reality is the center has so far spent only 4,700 crores, 4,700 crores on vaccines and now has left it for the states to pay the balance 18 to 45 age group from their own pocket. And the states are asking... Where is then the balance 30,000 crores? Why is the center not giving it to us? All right, 